In this video, I wanted to go over some common questions I've been seeing in the Stride Discord. Um, currently, a lot of people are asking if you can modify private variables within the Stride Editor, which is not possible, but you can modify them through the debugging experience in Visual Studio. This is one of the biggest benefits of Stride is that everything is running through .NET. So all the features and uh, functionality that you get with VS Code or even Rider if you want to use um, should all be functional within your project just by launching the solution through, through the uh, IDE of your choice. So if you press play here, you have the option uh, to run the project and it, it attaches directly through the IDE. Uh, and you can modify it with hot reload or you can modify variables directly in the editor. So I just wanted to show you that quickly for anyone who doesn't know or anyone who wants to change variables at runtime. So we can see here, uh, I have a very simple example. It's just the base scene of stride with this script attached to the sphere uh, in an update script. Um, so it's updating these variables every single frame. So if we pretended uh, if this was the player's health that you wanted to test at a certain uh, value, uh, you could easily just put a breakpoint here it'll pause the running application and you can actually edit this value to whatever you want. So I'm gonna make it 100. And if we get rid of the breakpoint and press play again, we can see that the value is now 100 within the actual game. And everything still works. You didn't have to change anything. There's no rebuilding the application or whatever. It just works out of the box because of .NET. Um, not Stride, not Game Studio, it's just C Sharp. Another benefit is um, even without that, you could uh, use hot reload as well. So that's just editing variables. You can do that with private variables the same way. Um, with editing the code, you have access to the hot reload function within Visual Studio. Um, and I think you have the same thing in Rider, but I'm a bit ignorant there. Um, so if you wanted to, all you can do is, all you need to do is edit this right here. You can comment these lines out. It'll save the script and press reload. And you can see those values are now gone within the running game. The other thing you can do uh, is bring those back. We can hot reload. We can see our variables are back. Back, They're the same value that these were up above or whatever they've been set to before. You can also uh, add methods at runtime. So I created this while the game is running. You can copy this method here. You can replace the private value and it'll get this a random GUID every single frame uh, once I reload it. So you can see here, the value here is gonna change from zero to spamming a bunch of different GUIDs. And it's just that easy. There's no, this is just out of the box C sharp. You don't have to do anything fancy. If you're using code only example in stride, you could do this as well. Um, that's honestly about all I wanted to cover. Uh, it's very simple. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll answer them as best I can.